Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the topic of linear algebra matrices, we are dealing here with the similarity and diagonalization. After the detailed concepts of similarity, diagonalization, algebraic multiplicity, geometric multiplicity, powers of capital A, we will be dealing here with the with the actual questions. So I have I have divided the diagonalization of a matrix in different parts. This is the first part we are dealing here with. Let's get started. If capital A is equals to this three cross three matrix, check whether the matrix is diagonalizable, comma diagonalize if it is. Then what we have to do it? We have to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So the procedure is the same because it's a three cross three matrix. So Cartesian equation is given as lambda cube minus summation of a i i lambda square plus summation of m i i into lambda minus determinant of a is equals to zero. So we'll be finding out summation of a i i, summation of m i i. What we have done it so far. Please do follow this i button from here so that we you can just reach to the previous sessions where I have I have explained this. how to find out the eigen values and vectors in detail so finding the determinant take these values put it here here as summation of mii determinant of a we'll be getting the cartesian equation as lambda cube minus 11 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 36 is equals to 0 therefore the eigen values for this particular would be lambda equals to 2 3 6 and therefore as all the eigen values are distinct capital a is diagonalizable we are we are aware of this we have seen the last concept this is as a theorem when all the eigen values are distinct a capital a is diagonalizable but yes we did not have to leave this here because we have to check whether it's diagonalizable yes we said that yes this is diagonalizable but we have to diagonalize it as well that means what we have to find out the eigen vectors corresponding to these eigen values So for two, it's determinant of so, so matrix A minus two Y into X is equals to zero. This is what is the formula. This is you can do it in the detail. So A minus two Y matrix the, um, subtraction we have done. Then again, as lambda equals to two is distinct, we have seen that. Again, I, I will uh, suggest you to follow this I button to get reach to the values where we have discussed in detail eigen values when the uh, uh, to find out the eigen values and vectors when the eigen values are distinct so again we are just going there so i'll just go fast forward assuming that you are not a first time visitor for this particular session so if you are please go back and try to look at those from the beginning that is of eigen values and vectors to understand this particular topic so this is uh, we are going to use a kramers rule for the kramers rule we need two equations then we have said that x is equals to minus y is equals to z we have got this as a vector again as this is a vector sometimes some books are referring this as a basis also so let us find out that as well so basis means just you have to say it's equals to t and then we have to find out the common that is t is out 1 0 minus 1 so we are assuming that or we are saying that x1 is 1 0 minus 1 where x1 forms a basis for the eigen space corresponding to lambda equals to 2 moving ahead for the lambda equals to 3 so it's like quickly i'll just go through it please do follow the previous session so that you will get understanding understand this particular uh, to find out the eigen values and vectors in detail so we have got it here x2 which is a basis for the eigen space corresponding to lambda equals to 3 similarly for 6 as lambda equals to 2 3 6 3 of them are distinct we have use the same method of using the kramers rule we have found out the the vectors corresponding to them x1 x2 x3 so x3 in this case is for lambda equals to 6 we have got it as 1 minus 2 and 1 now the main part for this particular question so it's it's like a old book we are putting a different or a new cover with the concept of diagonalization so we have done the same finding out the find eigen values and vectors of this matrix now what is the next how are we diagonalizing it is the next part now we have got lambda is 2 3 6 for this 2 1 0 minus 1 as a vector for 3 1 1 1 for 6 it is 1 minus 2 and 1 how we can go ahead with so algebraic multiplicity of 2 is equals to geometric multiplicity of 2 is equals to 1 that means what for this 2 one vector for 3 one vector for 6 one vector please do follow the previous session where i have explained the concept along with few of the examples like this So again, this is also same equals to one for six. Also, AM and GM will coincide with each other, means they are equal. 
as algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity they coincide with each other that means that means they are equal for all of them for 2 3 and 6 they are equal that is the reason capital a would be diagonalizable what do you mean by that that means this capital d is getting formed which is a diagonal matrix having the diagonal elements as the eigen values of capital a so we have got 2 3 and 6 as the eigen values so first column is with filled with 2 which is the first eigen value for suppose we'll say it so please do follow the color code i have used the same color code what we have done it in the concept uh, session because that 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 will create a, an impression on your mind that the s2 is in placed in the first column accordingly i we have to place this first column filled with the eigen vector for this two so it's 1 0 minus 1 as the first column of capital m similarly this 3 is placed in the second column here in the second column so this x2 is 1 1 1 which is a vector for this 3 eigen vector for this will be placed in the second column similarly 6 in the third so we have placed 1 minus 2 and 1 in the third column of capital m that means what the capital a is or a matrix is diagonalizable and what are the diagonal so this is a diagonal matrix this is known as a diagonal matrix and this is known as a modal matrix or you can say this is also known as a transforming matrix transforming matrix transforming matrix capital a to diagonal matrix diagonal matrix so this is all these are the very d and m this is the way you have to present it but the same thing what we have done it so far we have found out the eigen values using that lambda cube minus then we have got for the eigen vectors corresponding to each and every eigen value and then we have just wrapped up the same book under the new cover writing d and m separately that's known as a diagonalizable or a diagonalization of a capital a yes and this is one of my favorite which is known as a self observation slide one two three mat matrices has been given along with the answers so d has been given if you are changing the position of this 1 minus 1 and 4 accordingly this three columns will change according to what we you are changing this d as so this is an example this is the answers i have given you along with the same color code that's the reason i have not filled up this answers with the red uh, yellow color but yes i have i've given this as a clue because whenever you are i um, mean continuous a uh, visitor for this particular and a learner from this sessions then this is you are having a mind in your mind answer would be given always in a yellow color so this is what is the difference for this time because i need to show you that color code with the with full of visibility i hope you must have understood the concept of diagonalizable and diagonalization we have uh, this is just a part one please do connect with us and be in touch with us for the upcoming sessions on the different parts thank you yeah happy learning bye bye